from one wasp to two wasps to over a dozen, I've watched this hive grow little by little. They've built it on the back of a chair on our patio just outside our glass door, which allows me a very unique opportunity to get to watch it grow. I remember when it was just one wasp and then two, I didn't realize they'd gotten quite this productive this fast. This explains why I was stung only Wednesday when I went outside in back to take some pictures of some jewelry I just made in the sunlight. I hadn't been paying attention and I must have brushed at one and it retaliated. Given how many I'm seeing now, I can see why. I uh, counted at least 13 earlier and that wasn't including several, as you can see, hiding on the back. Um, now those aren't working on building it, so I think those must be warriors. Uh, they're wait, laying in wait for danger, for any signs of threats. While others work, I've seen some coming and going. Uh, I don't know if wasps have a queen, but if so, I imagine she's quite busy. As you can see, they've been really filling these up. Uh, I don't know if you can see any signs of new wasps yet. Maybe once I check the video. But they've clearly expanded this immensely since I first saw it. Get another look up above, from up above where you can see the warriors. And you can tell that they're watching me because I might be a threat. Uh, I used to take pictures of them uh, from the other side. I used to go up and just hold the camera back and take pictures. I don't think I'm going to be doing that any longer. I think that there are far too many of them right now for me to be able to do that any longer. I notice that some of them are sometimes uh, dipping way into these. I don't know if they're filling them with food or even feeding something. It's hard to see, really, uh, from this vantage point since a lot of them are t turned downwards and I'm kind of tall. Well, maybe some of the ones on back are working, actually. They might be strengthening the core, uh, the, the stem. At any rate, it's definitely neat to watch them. And uh, my wife keeps warning me that I should get rid of them because they're dangerous. But I feel so long as I leave them alone, they'll leave me be. Well, I wasn't paying attention when I got stung. And it wasn't that bad. Uh, the sting itself wasn't that bad, actually. It, 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 it kind of pulsed. I had pain in here occasionally. The, the, the real thing was the venom. Um, it made me weary, especially in my arm where I was stung. Uh, when I reached over to lift the skillet, it felt like I'd been lifting weights for five hours straight. Uh, very interesting. I, I understand that, you know, wasp venom can have those aches, give you those aches and pains like that. Fortunately, it turns out I'm not allergic to them. Uh, we had some fear that I might be allergic to bees, stings. Of course, bees and wasps are slightly different, so who knows, I should probably still be careful just in case. I can get a lower view here. It's hard to tell. Uh, the sunlight makes it so I can't really see the screen very well. But, at any rate, this is my own private wasp nest. And I gotta say, it's kind of neat to watch.